Today's video, I want to talk to you all about knitwear. I have some new in pieces to share with you, but I also wanna go over some of the pieces that are on high rotation in my current wardrobe for this winter season. I have some pieces that I'm reaching for again and again and again. So I really wanna share with you why those pieces are so special to me, what the design details are that I look for when I'm purchasing knitwear, the fabrics I like to buy, and also, and probably most importantly, how to care for knitwear so it lasts for a long time. The first three pieces I have to share with you are all new in from Lily Silk, who are the sponsor of today's video. You've probably heard of Lily Silk because of their silk pieces, as the name would suggest. They do some really gorgeous mulberry silk items, bed sheets, pillowcases, and clothes as well. However, you know I'm a real knitwear girl. I love my cozy pieces. And so when they reached out and offered to send me some of their knitwear range, I was even more excited. They pretty much exclusively use natural fibers, which gets a big thumbs up from me. That's one of the key things I look for when I'm looking at brands who offer knitwear. The first piece I have to show you, I couldn't resist wearing for this video because these pieces actually arrived a few weeks ago now. So I've been testing them to make sure I do love them as much as I hoped I would. And this one in particular has hands down been my favorite. This has probably been my most worn jumper. I've actually worn this a little bit too much. I feel like people are gonna get sick of seeing me in this because I just can't take it off. The reason I love it so much is because it's made of my favorite fabric. It's 100% merino wool, which if you're a regular viewer, you'll know that I'm kind of obsessed with merino wool. I feel like it is the coziest, softest, most comfortable, least irritating fabric that a knit can be made of. I even slightly prefer it to cashmere, I think. Although I do have a cashmere piece to show you, which I love as well. So I'll show you that in a second. But this jumper is quite a relaxed fit. I really love the shape of it. It has a dropped shoulder and as I said a slightly relaxed slouchy fit so it feels perfect for those casual comfy days. The other thing I love about this knit is the colour. So it is an ecru slightly off white but it isn't too yellow toned. I find that a lot of my knits when I get them in this off white colour they can sometimes appear a little bit too creamy, a little bit too yellowy and I actually suit more of a true brighter white. But I do still love an off white so I really appreciate that this one is off white but it is leaning more to being a true cooler white. I'm wearing the size medium. I would say this fits very true to size. The medium is fitting like about a 10 to 12. Obviously it is designed to be slightly more relaxed with the drop shoulders and slouchy fit, but I would definitely go with your true size if you're interested in this one. I'm also gonna leave some information in the description box about where Lily Silk source each of their fabrics, including their merino wool, because they sent me some information about it and I found it really interesting and reassuring to read. I've been styling this with basically everything in my wardrobe. Being a neutral colour, it does go naturally with everything. My personal favourite way to wear this has been with a pair of black tailor trousers. I have these old ones from And Other Stories, which I love. And then a camel coat or this vintage blue coat. I think this pairing looks so beautiful. I like the slight pop of colour against the neutral base. But if you don't have a coat in this colour, a navy looks divine as well, even like a burgundy. If you had a burgundy red coat, I feel like that would be amazing. It has this ribbed neckline detail here and it has cuffs that come in at the wrists a little bit tighter. It is quite loose through the arm as you can see so I really do appreciate that it does cuff in tighter at the wrists. I feel like you can still see my shape and it is a little bit more flattering than if it just was really loose and baggy at the wrists. It's also a little bit more practical to have knits like this. This is one of those design details that I always look for because if you've got really loose sleeves they just end up getting dipped in things when you're cooking or you can't put them under coats as easily so that is the first design detail that I'll mention. I always look for knits whether they're slim fitting or oversized to come in really nicely at my wrists and this one definitely ticks that box. Okay next up I have this jumper to show you. I mentioned I had a cashmere piece and this is it. This is a hundred percent baby cashmere so this comes from Kid Goats and it is so incredibly soft. 
This comes in two different colours. It also comes in a colour very similar to this, if that's your preference. But because I got this jumper in this colour, I wanted something in a different colour. And I really love this beige tone. Again, similar to this jumper, I like that it isn't too warm. It's definitely slightly on the warmer side, but it still kind of feels quite neutral. So I feel like it does suit people who are cool toned as well as warm toned. This one has some beautiful cable knit designs. It's a really interesting design. It's not something I see every day. It's slightly different to your regular cable knit jumper. It has these thin cable knits vertically all along the jumper, all along the sleeves and at the back of the jumper as well. This is something I really appreciate about Lily Silk is they don't scrimp on the details. All of their details run across the full length of the garment, including the back, which a lot of the time cheaper brands, less expensive brands skip out on those details to save money. But Lily Silk definitely don't. And as I said, it's 100% baby cashmere. So it is super, super soft. It's quite lightweight. I think they describe it as a slightly semi sheer jumper. It isn't see-through but it is on the thinner side. So I really like it for layering or wearing on those days where you don't want something big and bulky, but you still wanna keep warm. Because it is cashmere, it is gonna keep you a lot, lot warmer than other fabrics, even natural fabrics, but especially acrylic and polyester, things like that. It's going to enable you to regulate your temperature really nicely. But as I said, it doesn't have that bulk to it that slightly thicker jumpers like this do. So if you have a more slim tailored coat and you want a jumper to layer underneath that, but the coat doesn't have super wide armholes or anything like that, this could be a really good option because it is on the thinner side. I love pairing this one with just a classic pair of blue denim. You can't beat it. I really love this shade of kind of light brown with denim. I feel like it looks really classy, really luxurious, really effortless. But equally, I also wear this with my black tailored trousers as well. And I love that look also. Finally, I have a knitted skirt to show you from Lily Silk. If you've been watching my channel over the last couple of months, you'll see that I've really been getting into skirts and specifically knitted skirts. But so far I've only tried the knitted mini skirt, a bit like the Serena skirt from Cezanne. So I was really intrigued to try a knitted midi skirt instead. A little bit more practical for the winter time, a little bit warmer, still super feminine and chic. I love this skirt paired with this jumper actually. These colors together are a match made in heaven. And then I typically pair it with a pair of heeled boots. I particularly like it with a pair of stiletto boots to give it a little bit of edge because it is a very feminine floaty piece. It's an A-line shape. So it's gonna suit a really wide range of body types and look flattering on a lot of people. It's very comfortable to wear because it does have a slight stretch to it. I've got mine in a size large, which I would say is equivalent to a UK 12. And it fits me absolutely perfectly on the waist and then just skims over the hips and finishes about mid calf. This piece is also made from 100% ultra fine merino wool, my favorite fabric again, and I can confirm it is super, super soft not itchy at all, not irritating. It's a nice thickness, not too thin, not too thick. So it still keeps you warm, but it, it is able to drape and flow really nicely as well. It's not too stiff. As I said, my favorite pairing is this skirt and this jumper together with a pair of boots and a coat thrown over the top. So chic, but you could also pair this with more of a tailored shirt or a blouse if you're looking for a contrast between the textures on top and bottom. Before I move on to the next pieces, I want to mention I do have a discount code with Lily Silk if you are interested in any of the pieces that I've shown today or have a look at their website. They do loads of other cashmere, cotton, wool, knits, and of course their silk pieces as well. My discount code will be on screen as well as in the description box down below. You can get 15% off your order. Alternatively, if you're perhaps buying gifts for people and you're placing a larger order, you can use this discount code to get 20% off orders over $500. Okay, the next knit that I am loving is a new one in my collection as well. And this is one that I do wanna spend too much time talking about because I'm actually gonna do a whole separate video reviewing this particular brand for you. But of course, this is a knit, so I did want to mention it. It's this gorgeous burgundy maroon 
maroon kind of it's quite quite a hard color to describe because it i guess it is burgundy but it's almost got a purple tinge to it rather than a red tinge um it's from this brand here if you're french please explain to me how i pronounce this i'm not 100 percent sure um so i'm just gonna leave it on screen you'll probably you probably have heard of it if you are french um it's quite a popular lingerie swimwear brand but they do also do a few ready to wear pieces they have done collaborations with Suzanne in the past as well especially on swimwear I believe and underwear um, but I was really intrigued by their ready to wear because it looked really beautiful I've been following them on Instagram for a little while now and I finally just decided to make a purchase and see what I thought this was one of my favorite pieces on the website so this is the um, I'm gonna put the name and the color on screen because again it's in French and I'm not very good I really need to um, <laughs> learn a bit more French if I'm going to talk about and review all these French brands. Um, it's a gorgeous jumper, it's a mixed blend, so it is mostly natural fibres. Looking at the label, it's 63% baby alpaca, 30% polyamide, 7% merino wool. So it's 70% natural fibres. I do really like it, it isn't itchy at all, which is nice, but it does have this fluffy texture reminiscent of the alpaca um, mohair knits. I really love it. It's just the colour. I've not quite seen this colour before. It's not quite a colour that you see often and I really do think it suits me quite well. You'll have to let me know what you think. I love the neckline as well. It's like a higher neck but there's something about it that feels very feminine. Um, it, it's um, got this like kind of triangle here as you can see and I don't know I just really love the shape of it. It's got really big balloon sleeves but as the first Lily Silk jumper that I showed you, the one I'm wearing, um, it also comes in really tightly and nicely at the wrists, which as, as I said, is kind of a non-negotiable for me for most knits, especially knits that have these really kind of drop shoulders and big voluminous sleeves. So it ticks all my boxes, really, of course, that 30% polyamide, I was a little bit unsure of, but I do think that sometimes there is reason for polyamide in jumpers. I do find that they hold their shape a little bit better, especially if they're made of this alpaca mohair material, if they do have that slight bit of synthetic in there. So I'm, a, I'm willing to overlook it, and I just love how beautiful it is. I got this one in a size medium. I feel like I definitely could have done a small. It's one of those jumpers that kind of is very relaxed, quite oversized but as I said it still fits nicely in the wrists and the neck so it feels like it is the right size for me so I'm happy with the medium I'd say it fits like a UK 12 again if you don't like anything too big you could probably size down one in this jumper but yeah I would really recommend it if you haven't tried the brand before I'd love to know if you have tried them if you buy from them regularly what you think of them and as I said there will be a video on this brand a dedicated video reviewing about five pieces that I bought from them coming very soon later on in the week this piece is also from them so again I want to mention it really quickly because this one I promise I have been wearing this I've just for some reason well I've not taken the labels off because I haven't filmed the video yet and for some reason I feel like I need to have the tags on to film the video but I can assure you I have been wearing this a few times and um, you'll have seen I wore it in one of my last videos so this is a vest this is something that I have never owned before never tried before but as soon as I saw this one it just kind of clicked that this is what I've been looking for so a lot of knitted vests obviously are like they're like this without the sleeves if that makes sense so kind of cut off here so they're a full piece of fabric whereas this is like a gilet so this has buttons and you can wear it open or you can button it up which I just really like I feel like it looks a little bit more flattering because you can kind of wear it in various different ways and you have that space here I'm not describing this very well but you can see your top underneath which I think is kind of key and the reason I don't like the knitted vests which are more of like a jumper without sleeves style this one also comes in a couple of colors I should have mentioned that the previous jumper does come in a few other colors as well I can't remember what they are off the top of my head that was by far my favorite but I do like the other colors as well I like the color palette of the whole brand really this one comes in this gorgeous chocolatey brown which I'm loving this season it also comes in a really stunning blue as well which now I know I love this one so much I'd be very tempted to get as well it has tortoiseshell buttons and I also got it in a size medium and I'm just loving wearing this I feel like it's one of those pieces that elevates an outfit because if you're wearing a blouse and jeans a t-shirt and jeans a top and jeans or trousers 
putting this on doesn't really take any extra effort but it instantly just makes it look more styled. Next up I have a new in Cezanne knit. I couldn't do this video without mentioning Cezanne of course. This is the iconic Rosewood Othello. By the way I don't normally hang my knits, I'm just doing it for this video, don't worry. They're going to be off the hanger and folded very soon but I just wanted to show you them on my nice new wooden hangers. Um, this is sold out unfortunately in this particular colourway but it does come in a few different colourways and it has been so popular. I've seen literally every everyone I follow on Instagram who is into Cezanne wearing this particular rosewood jumper. It just is sold out instantly and just everyone has it and I can kind of understand why. I do love it as well. Again, I love this colour. I'm obsessed with this colour. I think it's quite flattering. I think it's probably within my colour season if I knew what my colour season was and it also have, has these beautiful buttons on it as well which makes it a little bit different from the rest of Suzanne's knits. I believe there is one other knit that has these buttons along like here a bit like the Trudy or the Gary jumper. Um, I'll show a picture of it on screen if you prefer that one. I, I'm not sure if that one is still in stock. But yeah, this colourway with these buttons is not in stock, but it's so beautiful. Um, it's again, as always, got the big balloon sleeves with the cuffed wrists, and it is like a cardigan style. So you can wear it open. I haven't worn it open yet. These kind of things I tend to wear closed just because I want them to be the main event. I don't really want to have anything underneath. And yeah, I've been loving, loving wearing it so, so much. Um, I got mine in a size small and it is still really big. It definitely comes up quite oversized. I would definitely be tempted to size down if you're go going to order the Othello, even if you're going to order it in a different colour, because I would say this small fits like a UK 12. So it's definitely quite big. Again, it is mohair. It's a blend. So it's that classic blend of, oh, it's actually alpaca, sorry. It's 68% baby alpaca. 30% polyamide, 2% elastane. So it's a very similar composition to the last two jumpers that I showed from the brand I can't pronounce. Um, it's that classic kind of alpaca polyamide blend, which I do quite like. And again, it isn't itchy, at least on me. And I would say I'm quite sensitive. It doesn't irritate my skin at all. So I love that about it as well. I'm so excited. I feel like it's a little bit festive as well. I'm not doing anything crazily festive this year because I'm going on holiday for Christmas. So I haven't been buying like Christmas party outfits or anything really like velvet or red or anything like that because I just don't need it. However, I feel like this is a nice nod because of these um, really special sparkly buttons to being festive, but like you can still wear it at any other time of year as well. Next up in my most worn knits is this grey cashmere cardigan. I found this on Vinted, it was a real bargain. It's 100% cashmere, originally from Autograph by M&S. And it's just like a real wardrobe basic that I wanted to have. I've been wearing it so much just around the house, but it also does look good dressed up. It's in a classic kind of cool toned, light grey colour, really versatile, really wearable. And I know it's just a piece I'm gonna have for a long time, even though it's not quite as fun and exciting as some of the other pieces I've shown. It's kind of an essential and it does the job and it does it really well. I think I got this for £30 or £35 on Vinted. They retail in M&S I think for about 90, so it was a really good deal, it's pretty much unworn. And I got it in a size bigger, a couple of sizes bigger, I think it's a UK 16. So it's definitely oversized on me, but that was the fit I wanted. I didn't want one of these cardigans that was like cropped or slimline, I don't really like that style. So I got it in a couple of sizes up to ensure it was nice and loose and slightly oversized and it does that really well. Again, 100% cashmere, I would really re recommend looking second hand for knitwear in general, particularly high quality knitwear like merino wool and cashmere because it does does last for a long time. Um, if people have taken care of it then it is going to look almost as good as new so this one definitely does and I'm really happy with it. It has really pretty like shell like buttons as well and I know M&S is a good quality brand but I was really happy to find it at a much more affordable price on Vinted. So yeah it's, it's a little bit boring, it's not like a super exciting piece that I'm like oh my god I can't wait to wear this but I do end up reaching for it multiple times a week because it is neutral it's comfortable it's not itchy I can layer it over things I can wear it on its own it's nice and warm being 100% cashmere it's just a good piece to have
Finally, I have this, which is by far one of the most worn knits in my wardrobe this season. This is from Goelia. I did do a video with them about a month ago now. I will leave it linked in the cards in case you missed it. I put together 13 really warm, cozy, chic winter outfits using their pieces. This is one of my favorite pieces from that collaboration. It's 100% cashmere. And the difference between this knit and why this is definitely a firm favorite and has a place in my regular rotation is because it's more of like a tight fitting. It's not super skin tight to the body, but it isn't as oversized and baggy. And it's really nice when I want something that is more form fitting on the top because pretty much all of my other knits are more loose, are more casual, they're slightly oversized with the drop shoulders and things like that. Whereas this is a little bit more streamlined. So I'm wearing something baggy on the bottom, like a pair of wide leg jeans or even like a knitted skirt. And I want something that shows my shape a little bit more on top this is when I reach for this and I like that it's in this neutral it's quite a similar color to the lily silk jumper the cashmere one as well I really love this shade of brown it's not too warm on me particularly for pieces that are near my face the skirt that I showed from lily silk is obviously quite a warm rich brown but because that's on my bottom half I don't feel like that's as much of an issue whereas things that are this close to my face particularly when it is a mock neck or a turtleneck I like them to be in a slightly cooler tone so this fits that bill perfectly Goela pieces do run a little bit small so I believe this is a size large I get most of my pieces from them in either an L or an XL um, yeah, this is a large, which I would say fits like a UK 12 um, and it fits me really nicely. And as I said, it is a mock neck and um, I just find like it's really sophisticated. Again, it's 100% cashmere. As you can tell, I'm loving cashmere this season. I definitely tend to rotate my knits depending on the season. So if you were watching me in autumn and even late summer and spring, I was all about the Betty cardigan. Um, I love my Leontine jumper from Cezanne as well, which is 100% cotton. But when it gets into like the depths of winter, I tend to switch out my knits for more cozy, fluffy, warmer fabrics. And still the merino wool, but a slightly chunkier, thicker merino no wool than the Betty and then the rest is either alpaca, mohair or cashmere. Finally I want to talk to you about a couple of my knitwear essentials if you want to look after your knits and make sure they last in your wardrobe for a long time because as I said I'm a real knitwear girl I wear it on a daily basis I pretty much wear it every day in the autumn winter and even in early spring and sometimes even in summer as well because I love a cozy knit I love feeling warm and kind of comforted so I want to make sure my knits last a long time so there are three Three things that I use um, that keep my knits in really good shape. First is a hand wash specific delicate detergent. Now all of the knits that I've shown in this video and all of my knits in general are hand washed. I don't really have any synthetic knits or, or at least exclusively synthetic knits. So none of my knits go in the washing machine. No matter how tempted I am, I do hand wash all of my knits. And I use some kind of hand washing delicate wool specific detergent for that. I use the tiniest, tiniest drop. Please do not overuse this. You only need like the tiniest, tiniest bit. This bottle will basically last me forever because um, I use such a small amount. You really don't need much. I'm not loyal to this brand. This is just one I picked up in Sainsbury's in the supermarket. It was about three pounds. You can definitely get more expensive ones, but I find that this one works fine. Um, I don't have like any loyalty to this brand. I don't even know what this brand is. Sturgeon, Gentle Care. I just look for something that is specifically, that says it's specifically for silk, wool and delicate fabrics and for hand washing. Um, so that's what I do with it. And yeah, I'll just put the tiniest drop into some room temperature water, not too hot, not too cold. You don't wanna shock the fabric. And then I will lightly kind of massage almost the water and the detergent into the jumper. Then I will um, change out the water for some fresh water that doesn't have any detergent to rinse it all out. I will gently roll it in a towel and um, squeeze out all of the excess fabric very carefully, reshape it and then leave it to dry. Next essential that I have in my toolkit is a, um, what's this called? Like a fabric shaver. This one is just from Amazon. It is not expensive. I think it was about 10 pounds. And I actually did a couple of my knits before this video. I think I only did two, but as you can see, if I open this up, it's probably gonna go everywhere. Um, there is loads of lint and fluff, loads of lint and fluff in there. Um, that I got out from my, look at that, from my knits. 
Final recommendation for keeping your knits fresh is a steamer. I find this so useful. I use it every single day, pretty much. And what I do with this, obviously you can use this to get creases out. If you're storing your knits folded, especially the finer knits, like the thin cashmere knits, they can get a little bit wrinkled. So you can get the wrinkles out, but also you can freshen up your knits in between wears. The steam, the hot steam from this does kill some bacteria and microbes and prevents your knits from smelling. It is kind of like a, a dry wash almost. Um, so I do that regularly. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite knits this season. As you can see, I've definitely got a color palette that I'm really enjoying this season, loving all of those browns and burgundies in particular. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it and you wanna see more videos like this. I'll also leave some videos that you can watch on screen if you would like to continue binging my content. I would love that. And thank you again to Lily Silk for sponsoring this video. I will leave the discount code on screen and in the description box. Have a lovely day and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!